a couple of weeks ago, I was talking on Twitter and just having a bit of a complaint. And I said that I didn't want to rename 512 files in eight different folders or something like that by hand. And uh, Twitter came through for me. Uh, there was a nice guy called Malcolm Barkley who wrote me up a Python script and it renamed samples by my specifications. Those specifications were that it had to be uh, music numbering so that EXS24, the sampler in Logic, would take those and be able to run with them. Uh, because when you import, uh, when you have samples in the EXS24, there are three options. And I can't remember all of them, but you'll see them in just a moment here. But the ones I was interested in was to automatically read the name of the key from the file and then map it automatically to that key. Very useful. Very speedy. But when you have file names like SMPL1000 and SMPL1001, and you have 64 of them per folder, the last thing you want to do is may, uh, rename them by hand. So I wanted a sort of something that would do that. Malcolm came through for me, but Python isn't necessarily the easiest thing to use for everybody. I then approached Chi Kim, creator of the VOCR and Flogic and Floatools projects, and I said, if you have any time at all, at all, uh, no rush on this, because I can do it, but maybe others can't. Could you please help out with this project? And he went away, and he came back yesterday evening, with, sent me an email, and said, I've done a thing. And the thing is in front of me right now. I've loaded it. It's called Sample Renamer, and you can get it from GitHub. And uh, I will put a link to this in the ID3 tags, and you might even see it on the uh, description of the thing that you're listening to now. Depends. And it is exactly what I wanted. And it goes actually a bit beyond what I wanted, which is even better still. So... The window looks like this. Archive. First of all, Archive. Make sure select folder. Menu. Okay. Close button. The close button. We'll just go through it bit by bit. When I went to Voice Over Home, it did not go to the close button. Thanks. Minimize button. Full screen button. Sample renamer. Select folder button. There's the select folder, and I'm going to be using that in just a moment. We're going to pick our samples. I have a folder full of samples, by the way. I say full. This I think got 13 items. That's so really full. So it's going to uh, rename them from what they are currently called, which is a bunch of different things to um, the things that I want them to be. Rename. Dim. Button. It's dimmed because I haven't selected anything. Octave. One. Start octave vertical slider. So there's your start octave. Seven. End octave vertical slider. And there's your end octave. Notes. And then we have all the notes. C. D number. E. F. F number. G. G number. A. A number. B. B. Checked. Checkbox. And you can check and uncheck. Now, I haven't tried unchecking, but I guess it would skip the ones that you didn't want it to do and uh, go in the order that you did, just skipping the ones that you didn't select which is really clever. And that's, as I say, that's beyond the scope of what I wanted. So curious minds want to know if Commando does anything and it doesn't, that's okay. It's a new product. Don't mind that. I'm not having a dig. Archive. So let's go back here. One, seven, rename, select folder button. Select folder, let's do this. List view table, Magix folder. PSS 500, Magix folder. So if I go into this Magix folder. List view table. There's a keep folder in here, but I don't need to worry about that. Keep folder, 0826 folder yesterday. Oh, actually, I don't need to go into the folder itself. My bad. It's not even showing me files. But I do know that they're in here. And in fact, actually, I've got a finder here. Look. Keep folder. NAFX 0122.wav. If I use quick look on them, you can hear what the sample's going to sound like. Quick look. Window. NAFX 0122. And I'm pressing the down cursor. So those are the samples. And Empty. some strange noises here. But that's all right. Magic folder. PSS5. Magic folder. So if I press enter on this magic folder, it's just going to quickly do... The, well, actually, well, I will select it, won't actually rename them yet. Sample renamer window, rename button. Now I hit the rename button and it will do it. Done. And it says done. And if I go back to finder, look at what Keep uh, we have now. 001-C1.wav, 002-C number 1.wav, 003-D1.wav, 004-D number 1.wav. Perfect. And the last one in the folder. 013-C2.wav. And it's clever enough to know that obviously uh, the last thing in the folder is the, the next octave. And it is. Fantastic. So now I can go to EXS24, and I'm going to show you this as well. I know it's a bit of an extended portion, uh, but just to show you how you might want to use this if you are a Logic user. If you're not a Logic user, you still might want to use this because it's really convenient. So I'm going to close Sample Renamer now. Samples Renamer Finder. Logic Let's go to Logic. I have a project here, which I will play to you in a second. And let me go to an empty track. Bass Channel Strip Worldly Melody Rhodes Funk cha Complete Channel Strip Group. So this complete channel strip is going to be in the EXS instrument. So let's do this. MIDI F, complete K, group, in, setting, list, pop-up, menu, e EXS, EXS, stereo. Stereo. Complete, dialog. So there we go. But link, I'll view, menu, button. View menu. Menu, control. Choose controls. Controls, checked. 
Go down into Scroll area. controls here. In edit, open button. Choose open. EXS24 inch. Then I'll press control O. Zero files added. And it says zero files added. That's Bounce fine. Full. So I now need to browse to where my fold my samples list are. View Macintosh H complete which is on here. List view ten audio. List view samples. samples. List view magic folder. Magics. List view table. And then once I'm in this folder, I don't actually need to do anything else. I'm actually in the folder where the samples are. If I stop interacting with this now, out of scroll area. By the way, make sure your options button at the end of the window is checked, otherwise you won't see the following options. You'll be like, "Where are they? They're hidden." Nope. You just need to press the options button, which is an expand contract type deal. Play button. Add. Dim. Button. Add all button. There's an add all button, which is exactly what I want. Table. Okay. Now that's been done. It doesn't give you that much spoken feedback, but that's all right. Done. Default. Can't done. Default. I'm going to hit the done button. Contiguous zones selected. Radio and here are the three. options. I'm going to go from the top of the window. A adding now. 13. It's going to tell you what's going to happen. Adding 13 samples. Please choose how to build the map. 13 samples. Please choose how to build the map. Auto map by reading a root key from audio file. Radio button. One of three. That's what I'll be checking in a second. Drums. Zone without range. Root key from audio file. Radio button. Two of contiguous zones. Selected. Radio button. Three of three. That's the one that it normally picks, but I don't want that one. Auto map I want by that press one. Press zone with one. Dim. Notes. Start note. And now you don't get a choice because it reads it from the file, you see? So these would be dimmed. If you didn't have that, then you would be able to pick. C2. Dim. Cancel. But okay. Default. Button. Okay. Link. Eject. And if I play my keyboard now, I have samples on keys. Great. So if I hit play now, and let me see. If I pretend that I was going to hit record as well. Which one would I use? Not that one. i use that one. So I'll hit play on this project. And I press the E flat on the lowest end of the keyboard. You know, that sort of thing. So, without much fanfare, I was able to get exactly what I wanted and it worked flawlessly. Apart from my little oodles of fish with the demo, um, going into the folder and not really realizing that, um, it's great. This thing is absolutely perfect. So I hope you found that useful and that you will find it beneficial to mess with yourself. Thanks for listening. Bye-bye. <laughs>